If you want to detect, we suggest you select Garrett's 80 Pro. It's the best way to go. Garrett's metal detectors will always protect us. Cause we find things that are Soldier. Thank you, sir. I set off and it was really beautifully sunny. Uh, and I'm 11 kilometres in that direction. In fact, just a second ago, you can see the mountain near where I live. Uh, and I've got here, and look at it. Just look at it. It's blowing, it's snowing. So I guess that's put the blocks on that. So literally just got here and it literally started this snow and everything. I, I don't know, 50 seconds before I rolled up here. 50 seconds. So I think it's telling me something and it don't look like it's going to change. Just look at the colour of everything. I would go, but I know it's going to be really, really muddy on that field. As soon as it gets wet, it's going to be extremely muddy. Uh, so uh, I guess that's put the car bosh on that. I will head back home. It's going to take me eight nine minutes and let's see if it's changed because when i set off really the sun was shining crazy but i did see the black cloud looming in the distance and i thought that's right where i'm heading so there we go so it's heading back towards where i live so i've come home and look blue skies so i'm going to try again i'm back off to the place i just left where it was stone i've got my back to the wind so you can hear me as soon as i turn you won't hear me but i went back home and uh I was here 15 minutes ago, so back home and back again, so, well, 20 minutes maximum. And this is the same field where the blizzard was. I'm going to turn around that. Blue skies, so I'm going to get cracking. First find, great big 50 calibre machine gun bullet. It's a biggie that one is. It's give me a 13 signal and it's uh, it's a mortar. You can see the fins on there, look. You know I'm not a defeatist, but I've been defeated today. It's that wind. Uh, I just can't hear my headphones. It's blowing that hard. So I've give up. So that's that. See you on the next hunt. Got another one of these again. You know how many of these I've got. You've seen them. I don't mind finding them, but I know what it is. It's a... Uh, it's a horse brass. Oh, this rang up 12 on the Equinox, and I, I think it's Roman. It might be part of a fibula brooch. And the first coin. Not Roman, for sure. It's too round for that. I'd be surprised if it is. No, it's looking like a, a two heller. Uh, yeah, it's a two heller. That rang up as 18 on the Equinox. This rang up as 13. I don't know what it is. Uh, there was a ferris signal in there, but eventually separated them. It could be Roman. I don't know. I'm going to ask Pete. That's a crazy Cressy 7. He's the expert on this stuff. He'll know. You can see like a, a flange on there, like it was fitted to something. Uh, and I just don't know what it is, but it's nice. I like it. This rang up as 19, and I don't know what it is, I don't know if there's any writing on there or what. It's bronze, it was fixed onto something, look, because there's two pins here that's been driven through, or two welds, I don't know. I don't know if it's old or not. Yeah, there's, some, there's a pattern on there, so it's quite old, it might have been a brooch of some description, so it could be Roman. Oh, I can see that pattern on there, look. So that's a brooch, it could be Roman that, and that came up, I don't know if I said it already, 19 on the Equinox, lovely find, really like that. Just dug that little brooch here, stood up, swung across, I've got a signal right there, right where my shawl is. 
So I'm going to dig that. It's not that good. It's 16 up to 19. I don't know. If I do a live dig, it would be crap. So I'm going to switch off and see what it is. All right. I found something very interesting here. You can see that's a figure. That's the top's a head there. It's heavy. I don't think it's lead. I don't know what period it's from. Is that Roman? Is it part of a Roman statue of some description? I do not know, but that's going in the bag and that's going to get cleaned up. And we'll have a look. It's not lead. I'm pretty sure it's not lead. Not very interesting, but old. 200 years, I guess. Old musket ball, big one. This is a new location. I walked on it first week. And I got a coin. I know what it is, uh, although I'll never be able to see what it is. It's the Second World War uh, Reichsfennig. Another coin just about to go. Not my favourite coin. I won't give you a penny for a bucket load of these horrible things. Two for the price of one. Both in the same hole, both buttons. <laughs> That's, I think that is a World War II German military button what this one is I do not know but it's very old look at that it's an old button and it's cast in one piece lot so it's like a cast button I don't know what whether that's a stone or or what there let me just get it in focus but it looks old it looks very old there you can see the hole through there look so I'll have to look into that that looks very old so that's not bad, I'm quite happy with that, two buttons. Can you see that? Looks like I've got a coin. It's not Roman, it's two round. Probably a one, one hella, one groschen, something like that. No big deal. Thin, it's not, it's not uh, hammered though. I don't know, it's probably late 1800s, something like that. There's something down here, I don't... It looks pretty round, so it might not be Roman, but it looks there, right there, look. Oh, it is, it's Roman. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's Roman, that is. Oh, I can feel the, the raised head, like the head's raised. You can feel it above the surface. Oh, I can't make out who that is, what it is. Oh yeah, it's Roman. There's the standing figure on the back. Look, it's quite big as well. This one. How big would it be? A bit bigger than a quarter, a US quarter, and about the same size as an English half penny. Nice. I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can get some more. Nice one. Here's a pretty nice piece, but I suspect it might be modern. It's got a serrated edge there, look. But it's made of copper, you know, so if it's modern, I mean like 100 years, 150 years modern. I don't know, maybe 100. Is it a suspender clip? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering, made of brass. Maybe it is. And the coil pick this up, surface fine. It's a coin. Two heller. Nothing much. Late 1800s, early 1900s, I guess, something like that. Any of you who have got an Equinox 800, you could get a 16 signal. It could be like this, a Roman, because that's what that is. That's the second of the day. I'm very happy to have that because I've been going for an hour without finding anything and that just puts the uh, icing on the cake that does very nice love it little Roman all right fellas let's have a look at what we've got I got this which is a little statue but after I cleaned off I can see that's turn of the century not this century but the last with his uh, big moustache there and his wide lapels, typical late 1800s, early 1900s style. Two musket balls, this probably off a, uh, a farm, a farm implement, you know maybe the wagon that 
at the uh, that they pulled behind them. 50 caliber unknown item. I think that's really old. Uh, pretty sure now that that's uh, what they call a hose and trigger or braces. You know, told your pants up or something to do with stockings, maybe. I don't know. That's a uh, horse brass. This is a nice little brooch of some description because you've got where the pin would be on the back there. And I have a feeling that it's very, very old. Uh, but who knows? I'm going to clean them all up. Bag seal. One, two, three, four, five, six buttons. This one I'm particularly fond of. I just think that's old. Uh, and this one also, I think that one's old. There, there we go. That's a German military button, uniform. Second World War, without question. And then these three here. Nothing much, they'll get thrown away at them three. Coins, Second World War, German Reichsfennig, same again. Uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, one, two three then three that one's 1920s or up to 1950s maybe or 60s even that one crap two romans this one's rather big they're definitely roman i think that's part of a fibula brooch and these two unknown items that's lead don't know what it is it'll get thrown away just get the feeling that's old i don't think there's anything on it I will clean it up. If it's got something on it, I'll save it. If not, then two bits will get thrown away. So let's go clean them up now.